first time you ever come to watch a Yale basketball game, I think one of the things that you'll see is a hard-working team. Tim, good rebound, Javi. We really has a lot of pride in rebounding the basketball. We are a physical brand of basketball. We do try to get the ball inside. We do try to punish you at the basket. Uh, we do try to rebound, and physicality is really important. Us. Here at Yale basketball, we really pride ourselves um, on rebounding. Um, you know, we're a rough, physical team. Awesome, man. Chase, chase. We really, really attack the glass and get to the free throw line, and we've done a good job. And that's kind of been, you know, our formula, uh, you know, for winning the past couple of years. Walk the guy out. Ready. Rebounding is, is definitely a focus for us. Uh, a lot of the drills Coach Jones has us do are uh, about attacking the glass and boxing out and that stuff. So uh, we really try to prepare on that. Rebound, Greg. And in those drills, you know, it gets pretty physical. It gets tough. And you have to get three rebounds in a row, basically. A lot of times you get to that, that second rebound in a row and you need one more, um, you don't get it. So you have to start all over again. It's mentally draining. It's, it's physically draining. Um, but it's just to prepare us, you know, for the games. We rug it blue collar, we chase the ball, we, we rebound really heavily and we, we're trying to create identity as a strong defensive team. So that's where we hang our hat on. We're just trying to play hard every time we're out there. We have a lot of seniors. Last year we had a good run uh, in the postseason run. The CIT helped us just prepare uh, for this year. So I think of the experience, the confidence, and uh, just everyone knows their role this year. This year's team really benefited from our run in the CIT at the end of last year, actually. we came together as a group and won several games in a row and we've taken some of that momentum. We remember those experiences, those wins, what it took to pull out some of those games on the road and that taught us how to win close games, how to win tough games against good teams. We've built, you know, a sort of confidence in ourselves. You know, we've seen how good we can be, you know, when we put all of our pieces together. And so, you know, just coupling that confidence and experience, I think we're going to be tough to beat. We haven't won Ivy Chip since 02. We haven't made the NCAA tournament since 62, I think. So we're trying to get Coach Jones's first uh, Ivy title, and that's uh, the number one goal for everyone here. This is when we get better. Right here is our time to get better. So we're going to take advantage of this time to make ourselves better, to be a superior team than the ones that we play. He wants to win, and, and you can see that in the way that he coaches, in the way that he approaches the game. Coach Jones, you know, with him being one of the longest tenured coaches here in the Ivy League, you know, it says a lot about who he is and what he means to this program. So it's been great playing under him. Um, and he's been a really, really great teacher. And now you gave him a baseline, that's why he got scored upon. Take away that, we trap him and we're in good shape. One more possession, let's go. The best thing for me as a coach here is the relationship I have with my players off the court and beyond once they graduate. They know I care. Every kid comes to my house for dinner. I can be hard on guys at times, but at the end of the day, we're family. We pick ourselves off, we dust ourselves off, and we get ready to go. You can actually drive a freaking bus through that, through that, through that difference between the two guys. Right here. We like to so think right going now, into it that we have the smartest kids in the country, among the smartest kids in the country. So they have interests outside of basketball, which is great. Um, and they think about their future, which is also great. And they've come to Yale because they want the first great education to help them for the next 40 years of their life, just not the next four. And I think that most of our kids here take advantage of those opportunities. It's an amazing opportunity to, to come to a school like Yale where you get the chance to be a D1 athlete and also attend one of the finest schools in the country. But, you know, it's definitely challenging sometimes, you know, balancing classes and the basketball. It's tough, uh, but you get a routine. And the people here are brilliant, they're geniuses, and uh, seeing how everyone is challenged in the classroom, and whether it be the extracurriculars from dance to plays to starting uh, startups and everything. So just seeing how hard everyone works in the classroom and in their extracurriculars, it, it helps us out on the court just to give it our all. It allows us to see the bigger picture and it allows us to step into this space and compete and play our hardest, but off the court have other things that we can focus on, other passions, uh, other interests, other hobbies, and it can help us see the game in a better light and enjoy it for what it is when classes are so hard and when we have so much homework. This can become a place where we go to take our minds off other stress not a place that stresses us out. You gotta go out and you gotta find quality student athletes and you have a small number of kids that you can recruit. So that's both good and bad. Bad because maybe the best players in the country aren't in that group, but good because you can focus on those guys and really find those guys that fit into what you do and hopefully they can buy into your system and you can help make them better. One, three, go team. One, two, three. Team.